In this tutorial, we will be looking at non-permissible values for rational expressions. When working with rational expressions, you may come across examples you have seen previously, like 3x plus 2 over 5x, where x cannot equal 0, or 5 over 7 minus x, where x cannot equal 7. What do you do if you come across x squared over x squared minus 6x minus 7? How do you determine the non-permissible values of this rational expression? The key is going to be remembering your factoring rules. Consider the previous example. How do we determine the non-permissible values? We are going to follow the same method used previously. First, make the denominator equal to 0 and solve for x. I will not be going into detail with factoring, so if you are unsure of the steps being taken, I recommend you re review the different factoring methods. x squared minus 6x minus 7. Positive 1 and negative 7 add to negative 6 and multiply to negative 7. Therefore, this factors to x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 7. Now we solve each of the sets of brackets for x starting with x plus 1 equals 0 and x minus 7 equals 0. We get x equals negative 1 and x equals 7. Therefore, the non-permissible values of x are negative 1 and 7. We could write the whole expression with the non-permissible values like this. x squared over x squared minus 6x minus 7, where x cannot equal negative 1 or 7. Here's another example. Identify the non-permissible values of 3x plus 2 over 3x squared minus 2x. First, make the denominator equal to 0. Then solve for x by factoring out an x to get x multiplying 3x minus 2. Now we can solve for x for x equals 0 and 3x minus 2 equals 0. The first equation is already done with x equals 0. For the second equation, we add 2 to both sides and then divide both sides by 3 to get x equals 2 over 3. Therefore, the non-permissible values of the rational expression is 2 over 3. One more example. x squared plus 11x over 3x squared minus 15x minus 42. First, we make the denominator equal to 0 and factor. There is a common factor of 3 that we can factor out. Then, negative 7 and positive 2 add to negative 5 and multiply to 14. So, our factored form is 3 multiplying x minus 7 multiplying x plus 2. Solve for x and we get x equals 7 and x equals negative 2. Therefore, the non-permissible values of the rational expression are negative 2 and 7. In this lesson, you learned how to find the non-permissible values of a rational expression by factoring. Non-permissible values occur when the denominator of a rational expression equals 0. You find these values by factoring the denominator and solving for the value or values of x. It is very helpful to remember and be comfortable with the different factoring methods in order to determine the non-permissible values.